Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 51 of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Alright, so for the past little while, like minute or so, I've been doing this. I'm standing outside the trading post in West Clock Town here. And I've just kind of been coming in and going out and taking this fish every time, because it respawns every time you go in and out. And I've been doing this because you're actually going to need four fish in order to, um to get a heart piece over in the marine research lab in Great Bay, so that's what I'm doing right now, because I just want to get all this heart piece collection out of the way before we move on to the next area. And there's actually not too much more that I left, there's like, I think two heart pieces and two masks that I want to get before moving on to the next area. And then of course in the next area there's going to be a lot more shit to collect, so get ready for that. Alright, oh I have enough rupees, I could actually... You know, I think I'm actually going to get the map from Tingle right now. I mean, I don't see why not. I'm here, so let's do it. I'm going to make you break your knees again, Tingle. Sorry. Oh, again, there's no way he could survive that fall. I swear to God. All right. Come on. Yes. All right. Thank you for going through that much quicker this time. What happens if you try to buy the same map that you already have? Whatever, that's a map of Stone Tower. And he just does his gay little... Kululimpa thing. Kululimpa. I have a bad British accent. Alright, ow. Okay. Uh, why can't we just, like, take the Zora babies that were in here at one time and just, like, feed them to this guy over here? Because that's really all we're doing. Just committing some fish genocide here, no big deal. Alright. And once you feed all four fish to this guy, then something of interest happens. And it'll just grow bigger and bigger each time. So, I'll just repeat this three more times, and then we'll see how that goes. Alright, and this should be the final time that I have to do that. And he'll grow really massive, and then... Wait, what? Huh? That's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to just take four. Oh, I know. <laughs> Fuck. One of the other one ate one of the fish. That's probably what happened. All right, so I'll be back with some more fish. Hold on, just a second. God damn it. That's honestly never happened to me before, so I don't know why it happened that time. But oh, <sighs> no big deal, I guess. Just quick trip back to Clock Town, and I'll be back here in just a second. Hold on. Okay, hopefully this works this time, because, it, like, it wasn't too bad having to go back and get another fish, but it's just pretty tedious to have to do this again. Alright, let's see. And there we go. He just eats his brother, and apparently eating that much, it makes him sick to his stomach, and he coughs up his heart. <laughs> but he's still alive, so it's okay. It's all good. Alright, and that's three pieces of heart, so one more, which I actually plan to get in this video. Uh, maybe. And we'll be, we'll have another heart container. Seriously though, why can't we just like get fish from somewhere else, like actually in there? It's a freaking marine research lab, we should have fish, at least. Alright, so we're going to go back to Clock Town now, so we can get uh, a mask that I actually want to get. Ow. Oh, pff, I just said ow randomly, you're probably really confused by that. Oh, there's just something on my face. It's kind of hurting me. There's like a scab thingy. It's hard to explain. I don't know. You really don't want to hear about that. Trust me. Okay. So we're going to actually head over to the milk bar so that we can get our next mask here. And this actually could take a while. So this might comprise the whole rest of the video or it might not. We'll see. Oy. Sorry if I sound really out of it in this video too and in the next few videos to come. I'm actually recording this at like 4 a.m. So I'm pretty tired, but I figured I might as well just bah. <laughs> what? Th that didn't make sense at all. There's a road to the south of the town called Milk Road. Someone must have pulled a prank out there because the road is blocked by a huge boulder. I can't get any milk from the ranch, so I'm not sure if I should recommend the Chateau Romani to you. <laughs> well, whatever, dude. Wait, he was just banging his head on the freaking counter. What the hell? Hey you, milk. It's milk. Can you get tipsy from drinking something like milk? Aw, oh, he must have been drinking soy milk or something. Alright, let's talk to you now. 
We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though, to just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you! Oh, t what? Jeez. Don't scare me like that, man. Okay. So, we're gonna help this guy perform his sound check by playing our ocarina, apparently. Alright, play our ocarina. Like this. Yeah. And, I guess, is that the sound check? Clear it, cut it, good. That's a wrap, folks. Thank you and good night. No, I'm just kidding. There's more to it than that, unfortunately. Well, actually, kind of fortunately, because I like this scene, actually. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket? Yeah, he's drunk, don't mind him. Drunk on milk. I have these three fish, I'm not going to be able to do anything with them. Oh, well. Alright, uh, no, I want this one first. Because we're going to go in, or in a sequential order here. Not going to screw with that. Alright, and now we're going to play our Deku pipes for him. To continue with the sound check, I guess, because... Well, I don't think there's a pipe member in the Indiegogos, but... I guess this is cool, whatever. Mm. But I actually rather like this sequence of events, like putting these instruments together to make... To do the sound check. I don't know why I like it, I just do. Probably because I'm just fond of instrumentals and stuff. And it's actually kind of cool and clever to be able to combine all the instruments at that like that at the same time. It's one of the more interesting aspects of the game, and I like it. I mean, not that this game it has a lot of boring aspects to it. Pretty much like everything in it. Except the freaking Great Bay Temple. God, if I never have to do that again, it'll be too soon. Okay. In the rear left spotlight. There we go. And play your drums like this. Alright, and there's the bass line for our song. Our lovely, lovely song. It's actually turning out rather well, if I do say so myself. I mean, I'm not like an expert on music or anything, but I like it. I would download this on iTunes. Well, probably not, actually. Oh. I would download it to like give it to like a girl for Valentine's Day present. It's like, yeah, I had to come up with something in the last minute, so here's some shitty song for iTunes. Happy Valentine's Day! No, I wouldn't do that. I'm not that shallow. Alright, here we go. I would actually write a song myself. Oh, pff, I played it wrong. That was stupid. That's what you get when you pl play this game, like, late at night. Well, early in the morning, I guess. Bravo, lovely. Now clear it, cut it, good. Bravo, that was the best. And Gorman, that that melody, that melody brings back so many memories. Is the world stand by Ballad of the Windfish? That song was made. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard this at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. Oh, well, that's kind of sweet, I guess. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. Wow, her mother got uncreative with that name. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. Maybe someday, buddy. Maybe someday. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. And we get the circus leader's mask. Because he's the leader of a circus, I guess. The Gorman Circus. The Gorman Troop, I think it is. Anyways, so, this mask, it doesn't really serve too much of a purpose in the game. It's not, like, the most crucial mask ever to completing the game. And it also kind of cries there, if you can see that. I don't know if you can. You can see it better if you, like, run, because the tears just stream along behind you. And the only really use for this mask is that if you go back and do the Kremia Milk Run, where, like, the bandits are chasing you or whatever... If you're wearing this mask while you do that, um, well, not only will you deter Kremia, but you will also deter the freaking bandit guys, and they won't smash your milk bottles, they'll just kind of stay back, following you. It's like, hey, let's go on a joyride, buddy. Hey, hey.
but that's really the only purpose. And since you actually have to do that side quest at, fir in, at first to actually get this mask, it's made kind of redundant by that. Alright, what time are we up to here? 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, well, according to my timer, it's probably off, because I cut a bunch. But, I think I'm actually going to end this episode off here, and next time, I guess we'll go ahead and get the last heart piece that I want to, and maybe get a head start on the next mask that I want to get. So, um, next time I'm actually going to meet you over by that mini game that I was trying to do one time. Uh, it's the one that you hook shot out to on the island in Great Bay. I don't know, it's hard to explain where it is, but I'm sure you'll get it when you see it in the next episode. So I'll meet you there at around 7 a.m. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Argo Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.